in these allegations. He was director of the college's electrical and electronics technology program, accused of cheating by giving one student the answers to a certification exam. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum has been digging into the allegations. He's live now in Galveston. Joel? And Lauren, you know what my first question was, why would a teacher cheat in the first place? A college instructor, no less. But when you hear the version of events as told by a student and you hear the answers to my questions by the college's president, you start to get the picture. Galveston College is not Harvard University, but it is most certainly accredited and thousands of students rely on this school to prepare them. A career. Yeah. Is that what you got? No. Josh Arujo shelled out nearly four grand to earn a trade certification in the construction industry. But after three semesters at this community college's trade school, what he got? Uh, they said that the tests I took were not, uh, did not meet the requirements. Josh says when his disorganized instructor finally realized he taught the course poorly and was not administering the test correctly, the teacher allegedly tried to cheat his way out of it. He sent me 12 tests, then he gave me the answer keys for all 12 tests. Officially, the president of Galveston College says the unsavory matter is under investigation. What was the fate of this uh, instructor? In fact, he's more than an instructor. He was uh, akin he was, to a department head. He was, he was head of the program, yes, sir. That's uh, troublesome. What, it's what's very becoming, troublesome. Very what's troublesome. become of this gentleman? Uh, Mr. Shields, uh, head of the electrical electronics program, voluntarily resigned. Okay, so there's a rogue teacher, now gone. But something else troubled us. Is this not consumer fraud? And the product wasn't delivered. Should you not give their money back immediately? We are we're certainly looking at uh, what we need to do to make this right for our students. Another key question here is exactly how many students were victimized in this whole thing. The college president couldn't give an exact answer, but he thinks less than five somehow. We're going to keep tabs on their investigation. We're live in Galveston tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.